Happy birthday to me! I wanted to do a little car chat because I feel like I can get my thoughts out and share things the best this way as somebody pulls in. But I just left a little cafe where I had a nice little vanilla oat milk latte and had a little reading session and drawing session. I haven't been drawing very much. Um, like going into my sketchbook has not felt fun I think I just like in a rut I need to like get out of my normal space because I always draw at night like after work and after a while it just seems repetitive and I just don't want to do it it just doesn't seem fun so getting out and coming somewhere else was a nice way to do that and I did some digital drawing which I haven't been doing either I'm trying to do more drawing this week because um, I took basically the rest of the week off it's Wednesday and I don't go back to work until next Monday because I need a vacation even if it's a staycation and I'm not going anywhere having the next few days off for me to just kind of relax and do some day trip things and hang out with George and all of that is exactly what I need so that's what this vlog is we're doing like a weekly birthday bookish artsy creative vlog and doing fun things. I, I think last year I did a birthday bucket list and I remembered that I did that this morning so I might try and do that but I don't necessarily like the idea of having like a checklist and a regiment of things that I need to do on my birthday. Um, I've been very reflective the past 24 hours like last night I was watching some um, <laughs> some of my more recent YouTube videos that I posted um, because I do that and it was such a empowering and I can't think of the word it was just a good experience for me because I was enjoying my own content and even if it was bad parts that I had shared um, I can see how I've grown from them and I feel like this is like the whole part of birthdays birthdays can be hit or miss for people and for a while I always had high expectations for my birthday and then once we had the pandemic and 2020 I spent my birthday alone and just couldn't go anywhere because I'd always want to go somewhere and go on a trip on my birthday and do all these things and it had to be like the best day ever like any small thing would ruin my mood and I've come a long way I was like I woke up today and I think last night I was just like you know I didn't even think about wanting to go on a trip and like I'm not even mad about it like I'm very content and happy like with where I am like on this day on my actual birthday but just like in life and that was such a such a good feeling like I was getting teary-eyed and this morning I was listening to Taylor Swift 22 because I'm feeling 32 and it, it made me tear up because I'm like very happy with turning 32 31 was such a weird year I didn't feel 31 I like forgot what my age is and I'm feeling very hopeful and excited about 32 so happy new year to me happy rebirth and I'm excited to bring you guys along for all of the birthday festivities because there are some things we are doing but for now I'm going to go home probably eat some lunch and I don't know what I'm gonna do this afternoon I really need to finish Anne of Green Gables because I'm still reading it <laughs> I've been going through this very slowly, but I'm so close. So if I can finish this today, that's a win and maybe start a new book. 
Um, I don't know if I'm going to go to a bookstore today because I'm, we're going to a bookstore tomorrow that I've never been to that I'm excited to go to. So I'm excited to bring you guys along for that. Tonight we have some exciting plans that I'll share later. So yeah, I will see you whenever I have something interesting to show or share. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden I'll follow honey golden 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 things gold hair gold ring success because I found basically <laughs> I found vans in my size that are like pretty darn new like they probably were only worn like once look at the back for like 10 bucks and I found a cute like mauve pink cardigan that's good for work one of these fluffy fuzzy pullovers that I've been wanting super cute and then some shorts because I'm just actively collecting and purchasing comfy shorts before I can actually wear them. So when it's summer, I'm good to go. So it's four o'clock. Um, I'm gonna call my mom. And then George and I are going to an AEW wrestling match in Philadelphia. I am so excited. Um, I'm not gonna take my vlogging camera, but I will take try and get some video on my phone. I don't know if they're gonna like search my bag and cameras aren't allowed and you know, all that stuff. So just leave the camera at home, but I'm really, really excited. So with that said, I will talk to you guys tomorrow because we're gonna be at the event all night and tomorrow George and I are going on a day trip and going book shopping and all the fun things. So I'm really excited about that. So I will see you tomorrow. Let it go. Autoboots are like, whoa Thing I go Cause it over I see I see, I see. And you're the better now, girl Yeah, got your cold blood Yeah, no one is it that I swear I swear Check out Mondo Zero Pokesaw can't get you there Come at all, I wasn't over Now I'm back on no more Do it, get chump chin to it Bashing got me to the top Honey, tell the body song Girl, hundred nit, I'm a pro From good my hands, time to stop Sing with your jagger, kind of style I'm a child, 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 I'm a child. Find any magic cards? Or my names. Gonzales. Uh.
morning. You can't see me. Good morning. It is Friday. Happy Friday. I woke up this morning thinking I could go redeem my Starbucks birthday reward only to remember, realize that you can only redeem it on your birthday because they made that change I think three years ago. So I'm pretty bummed but I went and got an iced oat milk vanilla latte anyway because it's still my birthday week even if I have to dish five bucks out for it. So there's that. All right, now my skin is so red from the light. Now I'm going to film a video that's gonna go up before this vlog actually. I need to film my May goal setting power sheets video. So I've changed, I put on a cute dress because I need to feel like a princess to get into the mood and the spirit to film and we're also like doing a big thing. We're planning May and I'm still kind of stuck in April. So this is like behind the scenes <laughs> filming my planning videos that a lot of the times I can't film early. Like I have to film like on the first day of the month or like after because my mind is just not there. But since I have so much time off, I think I'm gonna start uploading on Sundays now that it's a good time for me to film today and then get this up in two days to go up on Sunday for you guys. So. There's that. I've set up my camera. I have a nice little ambiance, as always. And we're gonna get at her desk and film and plan. Hey friends, it is Saturday my time. I just finished filming my May goal video, so I need to import that footage and start editing it. And my best friend Alicia is on her way. She is visiting for the weekend, and I'm not sure what we're gonna do yet, but I know we're doing some fun activities for my birthday. But I wanted to pop in with a reading update because I finished Anne of Green Gables finally. It took me a little over a week, and I enjoyed like the first half of it and when I started it but like the ending kind of dragged for me and it was kind of hard to get through. <laughs> Maybe because Anne grew up and her it just she stopped see I don't know it just seemed like once you got into like teenagehood it was very like teenage girl interests are very vain and and I don't know lots of thoughts on that although I really the writing was beautiful I think that's why I gave it a four out of five stars was because the writing was beautiful. But yeah, overall it was a good book and it helped me at least get back into enjoying reading again. And after reading Anna Green Gables, I knew I, I wanted to read either like a romance or a thriller, something that would keep me really engaged and like a, tur a page turner because I just need to like get really invested in something and kind of like blow through it to help <laughs> again with getting out of this long-term reading rut so i just i went to my bookshelf because i have so many books that i have purchased and just haven't read yet and then i keep buying new books you know you know how the cycle goes but i've decided to start reading the turn of the key by ruth ware i got this book when i went to england at a used bookstore so the cover is from the uk which i love and i really enjoy ruth ware's books. I've read several of her books like in reading blogs on this channel and she's definitely like a, one of my favorites or if not my favorite thriller writer. Um, although not all of her books are great but they are definitely engaging and get me turning the page to see what happens. So yesterday I read 144 pages so I'm a little, I'm almost halfway through. So that was really good for me. I blew through you know 
the first almost half of this book and I'm really engaged in the story but this is about a woman who applies for a nanny job in the Scottish Highlands and the house is apparently haunted and it starts out with her writing a letter to an attorney or some defense attorney words are different in the in Scotland the UK but she's locked up because she is accused and gonna be on trial for murdering the children or one of the children that she was nannying but she claims she is innocent and then she like backtracks and tells her story from the beginning of how she ended up in the prison so that already got me engaged and i'm very i'm in the beginning of her starting her position as the nanny and things are getting a little interesting nothing crazy has happened yet but we are getting there friends but i think this will be a quick read for me. Um, not sure how much reading I'm gonna get done this weekend since my friend is coming, but I'm gonna try my darndest and then probably finish this next week. So yeah, that's my reading update. I just wanted to share before I go do non-reading activities. But hey, this is still my birthday vlog. We're just celebrating the heck out of myself all week, <laughs> even though my birthday was a few days ago. We're enjoying our long weekend and I'm excited. So let's go on with our Saturday weekend activities, friends. Hi friends, excuse my disheveled appearance. I am currently editing this video. Welcome to the end of this birthday bookish vlog. It's officially two weeks after I filmed that all the other clips that you've been watching. I kind of just stopped vlogging and looking back, I wish I filmed more of just like little bits of things I was doing. Um, I'm so used to filming certain types of clips and footage for my vlogs, like reading and drawing and like coffee and like those things that I feel like I always share. Then there are like other parts of my life that I don't share a lot about, um, i.e. the wrestling bits. So I was excited to share that part, but then I wish I vlogged more of that. And then there were just little things that we, George and I did that I didn't film. And when Alicia came to visit, I'm so present when I'm with her. I don't even think about filming, which is amazing. I love having friends that helps you be present and just kind of focused on hanging out and connecting. But also I'm sad I didn't film <laughs> random things that we did together as well. Um, so yeah, that's my little like commentary on the lack of clips that might not seem like you noticed, you probably didn't notice any of this, but for me on the editing end, there was just so much I wanted to share that happened that I didn't. So note to self for future vlogging. Anywho, I just wanted to round out this vlog and share my thoughts on The Turn of the Key by Ruth Ware because I did finish it. I think it took me, I read it like that weekend, like the last time I talked to you when I first started, I blew through like 140 pages and then busy weekend, didn't really read it all. And then I finished this last weekend so it was a very quick read i just didn't get it done fast i just read it in like two or three quick sprints and i have thoughts i have thoughts we we need a bang check and we also need a hair wash so excuse excuse this but i have thoughts guys so i love ruth Ware because i never was a I never was a, a really big reader and i read a lot in school i've probably talked about this a lot i've read a lot of classics and dystopian novels in like high school and college and then I just read a lot of academic books because I was a history major and I had to read a lot of just non-fiction and I still love non-fiction and then was reading a lot of self-help so basically what I'm saying is that I wasn't while there were parts of my life where I did enjoy reading I wasn't really reading fiction so somewhere along the lines in like 2018 I wanted to try and get back into reading fiction and just not read nonfiction and self-help so much and Ruth Ware the woman in cabin 10 was like the first book that kind of ignited my love for reading fiction and specifically thrillers so I have a history <laughs> with her and her books which is why I, I'm trying to read all of them and I'm always excited when a new book comes out but this book not my favorite it's hard to say because the lying game was not my favorite either but I don't remember how 
I really felt about it. I, I don't know if I have a reading blog on that, but that one versus this one are like my low tier least favorite Ruth Ware books. And it's hard to not have a bias when you're reading books because there's so many other circumstances that come into play on how you judge a book because I've read so many of Ruth Ware's books and in the beginning I loved them because they were new and fresh and now that you, once you get used to a writer's style, you kind of expect things from them or you expect to have a certain kind of experience or I expect them to blow me out of the water. So when I got to this book, I was not blown out of the water and I was kind of just like, it was just meh. It was like, it was engaging and it kept me kind of guessing and I didn't really know what, like the ending, I didn't expect it, but I wasn't like, oh my God, that's so good. The other thing that kind of was, that kind of comes into play with my rating or thoughts on the book is that when I started reading Ruth Ware books, I didn't read fantasy. Fantasy wasn't really interesting to me. And now I'm reading a lot more fantasy books and like supernatural things. And I really enjoy this kind of book. So like this book reminded me that Ruth Ware is not a fantasy writer. Like she writes, you know, thrillers like this. It's stuff that ha would happen in real life theoretically. So the ending, I was wanting a kind of a supernatural fantasy ending or just element in this book because it is in a house so I was thinking like the house was going to be haunted and it was like but there was a practical explanation for that hope I'm not giving away spoilers so now that I've read so much great fantasy books and like haunting books with you know these supernatural elements I really enjoy those types of stories and I kind of want more of those so when I was reading this I guess I was wanting more fantasy and supernatural elements and it wasn't any of that because again it's a thriller it's a psychological thriller so that was kind of my learning moment <laughs> I still will say my favorite book by her at this point is one by one which came out a few years ago and I do have a reading blog on that and I really love that book it was really engaging I was shocked I was enthralled I had emotions about that so I still stand by Ruth Ware, Ware and her writing, but not my favorite, not my favorite, but I am happy I read this because it did get me kind of back into reading and it was a quick pace and I blew through it. So goals were achieved on that end, but in terms of my thoughts on the book, now you know. Here I am reading another book, which I was debating on sharing or not, but since I never know when I'm <laughs> going what, what video I'm going to do until I actually do it. I don't know if I'm going to do another reading vlog or what I'm going to do for my next video but I do want to share with you guys that I am reading Breaking the Moffat Chain by Annie Domingo which is a historical fiction about two sisters who are from Africa and they're separated during the time of slavery and one sister is enslaved and taken to the United States and the other sister is captured essentially and taken to England as a gift to Queen Victoria and you have the two sides we have the one sister who is in England and the other sister who is in right now I'm not at the point where she's in the U.S. but she's I'm getting the backstory of their history as a family and sisters and the separation so that's where I'm at I'm about a hundred pages in I started reading this last weekend and I really love it but I'm still not drawn to reading <laughs> like I have to really get my environment right because I when I'm sitting on the couch which is where I'm usually at when I'm reading books I have been wanting to just watch tv and scroll my phone and I have been drawing more which is great but reading wise I haven't been very naturally inclined to pick up a book even though this book is I, I'm loving this book so much just like part of me has to really force myself to sit down and read this so I'm hoping to read more of this this weekend now that I have more time to just kind of sit um but like during the week it's really hard for me to sit and read after work because it's been a pretty busy past few weeks since going back to work and I just want to sit and relax but yeah like I said at the beginning of this video with my birthday I feel very refreshed reset it's a new year I'm feeling very much inspired I'm drawing more and I'm excited to create more videos and share more of what's going on over in my corner of the world so thank you so much for being here thank you for your support and we're almost to 2,000 subscribers which is crazy last I checked we're at like 
1800 or something so thank you so much friends for being here and i will see you in the next video Stop trying. Yeah, yeah, you got me.